Hey there, Cupcakes. Today's recording comes to you with an apology from the scriptwriter and a promise from me. Now, Stormcoming, who has done this series and who's done a lot of your and my favorite series, uh, wrote this script for two voices. And because I personally love his voice, I asked him to voice the second role for me. Uh, hence his apology for his, quote, absolute hack job I have done, both in recording and writing. <laughs> um, but here's my promise. He did not do a hack job on either. He says at the same time, uh, he hopes you enjoy. And I am certain you will. And with that out of the way, here we go. Uh, I still don't see why I have to wait in the car. No, the car isn't the problem. I don't care about the car. The problem is the waiting. Don't you know this guy? Why can't you just, I don't know, say hi and introduce me? Nothing difficult about that. This is ridiculous. I thought you said the two of you were friends. Oh, protocol. Yeah, because that explains everything. Fine. I'll wait. But I'm not good at patience. I will not wait long. Thanks. Good to see you, mate. Been too damn long. Come here, bring it. <laughs> Still can't believe you want me to call you that. I mean, really. Fangs the vampire? How long did it take you to come up with that one? Never gonna understand you, man. Fangs. This is him, right? The wizard? <laughs> now things make more sense. Don't look at me like that. This explains a lot. What kind of question is that? I left the car because I didn't want to wait in the car anymore. Well, yeah, I, I know I did, but I saw you two hugging, so I figured it had to be fine, right? Not much reason to worry about protocol if everyone's friends. It's fine for now, man. The cloak and dagger stuff can come later. Positive. So, you'd be the gal Fangs told me so much about, then. Yeah. Uh, but wait. You call him Fangs, too? <laughs> I thought I was the only one who... He asked me to, actually. Quite recently, don't worry. I thought it was ridiculous at first, but the more I go over it, the more I can appreciate a man's desire to reinvent himself. And to answer your question, yeah, I'm the wizard. My name's... My name is not Sparks, you damn parasite. It's... <sighs> Fine. I'm Sparks. Lovely to meet you. And your name is? Jame. Oh, hey! <laughs> Our proper nouns are all regular nouns. Oh, should I make mine plural? I could be dreams. Uh, anyway, <laughs> pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, make no mistake. Not every day a lovely lady like yourself makes her presence known around here. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, that That's... Very kind. Oh, you're right. Wizard, questions. I have so many questions. For starters, why do you go by Sparks? Oh, is it because of your magic? Are you really good with electricity? Fire, maybe? Whoa, what about whoa, whoa. Settle down there. First off, I don't usually go by Sparks. It's just the leech over here who's dubbed me such. Second, I can answer all your questions in due time. There's protocols for these things, I'm sure Fangs has mentioned. Well, yeah, but... But nothing. It's the official policy of Libras that before we tell you anything, we make sure we can trust you. Surely you recognize the necessity of that when we're dealing with hysteria-inducing, fortune pitchfork raising secrets like the existence of wizards, demons, and, not least, vampires? Well, I guess. I feel like I know a lot, though, and 
the supernatural world hasn't collapsed yet. Shouldn't that matter? Oh, it does. But since Fangs was, shall we say, bending the rules by leaving you your memory in the first place, well, we find it best to make sure. Wait. You're supposed to wipe my memories? Are you guys okay with that? What the hell? Fangs, you told me you protected people from vampires. Yes, Fangs, I'm aware of your feelings on the matter. But we're aware that vampires need to eat, too. As long as no one's killed or turned against their will, and no one retains any inconvenient memories, we look the other way. It means that humans aren't getting hurt, and we aren't going to war against an entire species. Win-win. Mm. When you phrase it like that, it sounds better. Still, letting vampires go around attacking random humans... Taking their memories? Feels wrong. It's not a perfect world. We do what we can with the resources we have. But I think I've already explained more than I should have, so why don't you go on inside? The lady at the desk will tell you what to do from there. Oh. Uh, okay. Thanks, can you? I'm afraid not. He and I have a few things we need to discuss. Uh, oh... All right, then. I'll see you in a bit. So, she's cute. What? All I'm saying is, nice job, mate. <laughs> Shutting up, then. Something bothering you? Oh, no worries there. It'll be the same kind of tests you went through. Stuff to figure out whether we can trust her, yeah? Just between the two of us, she'll have a pretty easy time of it. No one wants her to fail, especially since memory wipes are a lot of paperwork. As long as you didn't wildly misjudge her, she'll walk out of there with a high enough security clearance to ask as many questions as she wants. Yeah, but listen, there was actually something we need to talk about. There's another vampire in your town. One of the less-than-friendly kind. You could say, yeah. Six corpses, strained of every single drop of blood, all within an hour or two of each other. You're damn lucky you were out of the area that night, otherwise... Hey, I don't like it either. I trust you. But I'm not the one who dictates security protocols, and, well, you have to admit, the tracker was pretty damn useful here. If you hadn't been wearing it, you'd be having this conversation with an Earth Mage's boot instead of your old pal Sparks. Look, I'm not here to argue about this. Just felt you deserve to be in the loop. Anyway, you have nothing to worry about. We sent in a team of heavies as soon as the first body was discovered. They'll report back soon and the whole thing will be cleared up. Simple as that. I can't believe I can do literal magic and you're the superstitious one. No, calling it simple won't make it more complicated. Relax. I promise, these guys are pros. Right. To get your mind off it, why don't you tell me how the two of you met? I've been curious this whole time. Gonna require that story. Oh, come on. You know you're dying to tell me about it. Just spill. You tried to what? I... Uh... Wow. <laughs> Today was... Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I can't believe I actually got to see the inside of a secret magical organization. I, I talked to a wizard. A, a wizard, Fangs. Do, do you know... How many of my childhood dreams I just fulfilled? Look, suffice to say, even with that weird testing, today was a good day. Oh, I don't know. Uh, nothing bad. They just asked some random questions while making me hold assorted garage sale rejects. 
had me try to read a paper full of gibberish, uh, measured the size of my ears, and a few other things. Nothing that really seemed to test me. I, I don't know what kind of information they could have gotten from a magic eight ball that only said, reply, hazy, try again, but hey, as long as it made them happy, right? I get to know about magic. I got to meet your wizard friend. He seemed pretty nice, by the way. Yeah, he warmed right up as soon as I got the clearance he wanted. Uh, sorry if my little impromptu interrogation bored you, though. I know you probably heard most of the stuff I asked him before. What, really? <laughs> well, if nothing else, I'm glad you were interested. It was you who brought me into all of this in the first place, and... I'm never going to not be grateful for that. I wouldn't have wanted to leave you out. Say, how did you two meet in the first place? I feel like it's one hell of a story. He tried to what? And the two of you are friends now. How in the... What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not... Oh. And I'm a hypocrite. All right. Fair enough. So, why was he trying to... Correct me if I'm wrong, but... That feels like a slight overreaction to trying to give him money. Yeah, that's what I thought. And? Uh, oh, come on! You can't just say something like that and refuse to elaborate, you animal! <laughs> I don't believe it. You're holding the story hostage! I have a strict policy of not negotiating with terrorists. Sorry, you'll have to get your nefarious payment elsewhere. <laughs> mm, nothing doing, pal. No kisses until after you tell me what I want to know. Uh, I am cruel. Me. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> The sheer irony. It's going to give me hematomacrosis. Blood jokes are in perfectly good taste, excuse you. At least they'd better be. Exactly. If my blood didn't taste so good, I don't know what I'd even do. Okay, story. Uh, look, if you really don't want to tell it, that's fine. I'm mostly joking over here. I can wait to listen until you feel like you're ready. If there's some reason you're holding back. Fair enough. Wait, I shall. So, uh, well, now what? I've been excited about this meeting for so long, I didn't even think about what would happen afterward. What do you want to do? Sure. A uh, movie sounds nice. Good way to decompress. Got a particular flick in mind? <laughs> we are not watching Nosferatu. <laughs> nope. Not Dusk Till Dawn either. Or Blade. I, I swear to God. If the next 
words out of your mouth are the Twilight movies. How dare you? How dare? Thanks. Is something wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, it's... okay, sure. Let's get out of here. Hey, my delicious cupcakes. Thank you so much for sticking around for this story. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you also to Stormcoming for doing the voice of Sparks. And I was so tickled to get him to read that because I do like listening to his voice. Anyway, um, I've got so many welcomes to, to make since... I last did this a few days ago. There's Paul King, that one Brit, a strange goat, primordial hunger, Jeff, and the love gyro. Maybe the love gyro. Maybe the love gyro. I don't know. Are you spinning like a top or are you like a Greek sandwich? I... That sounded way wronger than I intended it, but I am not mad about it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much to my special pancakes and bakers who do so much to let me be able to do this uh, every week. There's that one Brit, your skating wolfie. I'll stop changing it, I promise. <laughs> Rogue Scholar, Barry Wilburn, Esteed Anon, Esley Photo, Harper Evolution, Wolf9004, Vile Miles, Succubus Slave, Malicelo, Army Guy 007, Mr. Fabulous, Bunny, Tiny the Taxman, Merrill, Inline Flaws, Anin, Darth Mythis, Red Death 48, Always Able, Vigar, Moon, Old Bean UK, Clue Bear, Forces, The Swaggy Llama, Cody, Artlo, Pierce Taylish, and Christian Kaleapa'a. And of course, thank you everyone for your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, and your notifications. Uh, I hope you will all be as good to yourselves as you are to me. I will talk to you tomorrow.